Hi guys and welcome to Tasha Tuesday. So last week I did my top five favorite quick service restaurants. So today I thought it only fair to do my top five favorite sit down restaurants. These are in no particular order. These are the ones that I just love or found myself going to a lot while I was there. Same as the quick service ones. So let's get started. Number five on this list is Chef de France found in the France Pavilion in Epcot. I love this place. It is so delicious. Um, when I go there, I always, without a doubt, get the French onion soup. It is, oh, so good. Oh my gosh, I want some right now because it's cold right now and I just want some soup. So like, oh, I want that particular French onion soup. It's so good. The reasons I love this place is one, because the food is really, really delicious. Two, I love Epcot in general. And three, it's a really nice, like, vibe. Like, it's kind of classy, but you don't have to dress classy because it's Epcot, so... I like that. Number four on this list is the Yak and Yeti found in Animal Kingdom. I mentioned the Yak and Yeti quick service last week and I could not forget the Yak and Yeti sit down this week. It is located literally right next door to the quick service restaurant in Asia. So the reason that I love this place is number one, the food is flippin' delicious. I always tend to get the fried rice. It is amazing. There's always enough for you to bring home, which is really good for me, especially last year when I was a poor college program student. Number two, when I did go there, I got to sit in the best spot. There's some windows on the second floor, and I got to sit right at the window so I could look down and people watch while I ate my food, which is really, really cool. So number three on this list is Nine Dragons, which is the restaurant located in the Chinese Pavilion in Epcot. Once again, I love the Chinese quick service, which is the Lotus Blossom Cafe, and I love the restaurant, which is, again, like next door to the quick service one, just like the Yak and Yeti but this time in Epcot. The food I always get there is the special fried rice. It is delicious. It is slightly different than the one from outside, but it's close enough that if you didn't want to sit down, you can still go to the quick service one. The other reason I like it is because it is so cheap. Like I think it's honestly one of the cheapest sit down restaurants that I've been to in Walt Disney World, and you get a lot of food for the amount that you like pay. Number two on this list is the Garden Grill, which is found in the Land Pavilion in Epcot. I know we have a lot of Epcot ones. I love this place. It is a character dining, so it is a family-style buffet where characters will come to your table. Um, for those of you who don't know, family-style buffet is when you stay seated and the server will bring you like all, all the food you want, uh, which has its perks and disadvantages. One, you never have to get up from your seat, which is great. Two, it, it can be a little bit like embarrassing when you order like your fourth bowl of just mashed potato to the table, um, but it's fine. They're there to bring you all the mashed potato you want. <laughs> the other reason I love Garden Grill is in my personal opinion, it is one of the best character dining experience across Walt Disney World. Because the restaurant isn't overly large and it is in a circle, um, you have a top level and a bottom level. and Fun fact, the platform actually does like rotate as you go, but because of the shape that it's in, the characters that you meet tend to come around to you like more than once, even if it's just like a little interaction. Like once you've had your big, you know, oh my gosh, it's Mickey and, and you have your photo, like the next time he does do his rounds, like he'll still say hi. So you get to see a lot more of the characters than you do at a place like Tusker House. The characters you can meet are Mickey, Pluto, Chip and Dale. It's really cute because Mickey is in his nice little like overalls and like farm gear. Another reason I really love this place is because everything that is made in Garden Grill is grown from the Living with the Lands, um, which is the ride that takes you on like where Disney grows all of their food and all of that food is used for the Garden Grill. So it's all like really nice and fresh, like you know where it's been, which is really, really cool. And I think it just adds that you can like go on the ride, see where it's all grown, and then go to the restaurant and then eat the food that you've just seen. Number one on this list is Hoopty Doo Review, which is found at Fort Wilderness, which is a little bit to get to. There's a couple of buses that you need to get over there, but I promise you it is worth it. Hoopty Doo Review is an all you can eat, all you can drink, dinner and show. So once again, it is family style, so you stay seated and the service will bring out the food for you. Um, it's barbecue stuff, so it's got fried chicken and ribs and beans and potatoes, and it's all kinds of delicious. It does have all you can drink, including alcohol, so if you wanted, you can get a sangria or some wine or some beer, and then they'll keep bringing that one out to you as well. 
The other reason why I love this is because it is a dinner and a show and you get to watch the hoop de doo review show, which is hilarious. They do lots of interactions with the guests. If it's your birthday, they'll come ask you and then they'll sing happy birthday to you. If it's your anniversary, they'll say happy anniversary to you. And it's just a really interactive show that's really funny. And they have, like they give you enough breaks in between that you can eat, but not so long that you're like, oh, where is everybody? And it's so funny, so amazing. I have been three times, three times? Four, I may have gone four times now. It is absolutely amazing. I would definitely go again. Like I really want to go again. It's so much fun. So those are my top five sit down restaurants in Walt Disney World. I'd also love to give an honorable mention to Cinderella's Royal Table. For those of you who don't know, that is located inside Cinderella's Castle in Magic Kingdom. I love this place. I've only gotten to eat there once because it is very hard to get a reservation. You have to call 180 days before to like get a booking, but it is, I would say worth it, especially if you love princesses because you get to meet five princesses, which is really cool. And the food is pretty good. My favorite part of that is the dessert, which when I went was it's like a little chocolate cake. It was delicious. Um, but it's really good, it's nice theming, and it's just got that kind of like added perk of just like, oh, I ate in the castle, which I think is like the number one gimmick around this particular restaurant. If you liked the video, give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite sit-down restaurant is across all of Walt Disney World. Once again, I'm going in September and would love to eat at some new places potentially, so let me know. I hope you all have a great day, and I will see you all next week. Bye!